Hey, what is going on, guys? Boytron is back in video, and today we do have on Mr. Michael Borky with Super Talk Mississippi. And uh, hey, appreciate you doing this, Borky. Definitely means a lot for sure. So, today's video, we're going to talk about, you know, Quinshawn Junkins' strengths firm. We're going to talk about some other running backs who may come to Ole Miss as well, too. So, Borky, you know, first of all, I do want to ask you just kind of what was your reaction when you found out that uh, Quinshawn was leaving yesterday? So, uh, honestly, I, I was surprised uh, because, uh, I mean, as has been reported now, there was uh, an agreement, whether it was signed or agreed to in principle, uh, last week. And so, the, the word around yeah. was, you know, that it was done. And uh, Ole Miss was going to run it back with everybody. And he played in the Peach Bowl and played well. And then uh, th this kind of bomb got dropped. But in hindsight, if you were watching the Peach Bowl, Peach Bowl closely, uh, you could have seen some signs of something not being completely <laughs> right. And I yeah. only noticed yeah. one of the many things that are getting shared out there now. I only noticed one uh, when he yelled at, at Caleb Warren. Uh, but I didn't think anything of it. You know, it's football. Guys get hot sometimes. It, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, I frankly, I, I, I was very surprised. Now, in hindsight, knowing uh, what, what has been reported in, in what I know, uh, not surprising at all. In fact, this seems like this was going to be the inevitable outcome. So a lot of things have changed in the last 24 hours in terms of uh, Judkins and the, the kind of loss it is and, and the reaction to it. But – I was surprised at first, no doubt. Okay. I do want to ask you another question as well, too. Now, uh, I've heard a bunch of rumors, like how much money he was going to get. I'm just kind of wondering what was the amount that you heard. So uh, somewhere um, in the neighborhood of NFL League minimum. Uh, so uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, you had people talking about a million and a half, two million. No, it's not that. It wasn't yeah. seven figures. Um, as far as I understand it anyway, I could be wrong, but it's, it was getting close, uh, to the, the seven figure mark, a very substantial deal, uh, was, uh, agreed upon. I mean, yeah. not only offered, but, but agreed upon and it was substantial. It was a lot, a lot, a lot of money. And that amount of money can go get you some, a handful, frankly, uh, of quality players in the portal. So if you're looking for positive spin, you were budgeted to use, many hundreds of thousands of dollars on one player. Now you have that freed up to, to go use on other players, but it was a very, very substantial uh, amount of money, not a million bucks, but not, not, not all that far behind. Yeah. Yeah. I, I heard, this is just what I heard. I heard 800 K I could be true. could be false. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, yeah, drunkens, you know, we, we all know he's a good talented player, but, you know, he's – it's just – to me, it's just not worth paying that much money when it all comes down to it. Yeah, it, it mean, depends I'd rather, on – I'd rather have three, like, you know, three good offensive linemen, and you can still get a pretty good running back as well, too. But – and the thing is, though, what's crazy is they – I mean, they were prepared to, to to pay it. And and I understand why, because some of the discourse um, has been really spot on, and some of it – a little bit of it anyway, I have profoundly disagreed with. The – He's not a loss. I disagree with completely, but but there's a caveat to that. He's an elite level player. Uh, I mean, Herschel Walker has only had more yards in his first two years as an SEC running back than Quinshawn Judkins. That doesn't happen by accident. He's an elite level football player. So saying that is is totally, I mean, accurate. It's objectively true. If you're trying to argue with me that oh he's not that good, uh, spare me. You, you are you are very wrong. The difference is. The, the next layer to that, yes, he's a loss, but by how much? And so that's the important question for Ole Miss is, yes, they lose Judkins. Yes, he's a big loss, but what do they fill that void with? So what is his wins above replacement is the phrase I keep using uh, over the last 24 hours is, what do you lose? How much do you lose? And what do you replace him with? He's an elite level back. There's not elite level backs available, but there's very, very good. And so in the Kiffin offense, who led the SEC in rushing in his two years at Ole Miss before Judkins got there, all you need is good to have a great rushing attack. I mean, with all due respect to Snoop Connor and Ely, they weren't elite. They were yeah. very good, but they weren't elite. And look at what that offense was. 
So you can say that Judkins is a great running back on the field. He is a great player, elite player, and also understand that what they replace him with, if they get the right fit via portal, and if they lock Bentley down, which everybody expects that to happen, most people think it's already done, but until that becomes official, you still have to use if. So if they if they make sure that Bentley returns and they get the right fit out of the portal, they will be fine. Both of those oh, things yes. can be true at the exact same time. Yeah, there ain't, there ain't no doubt. We'll, we'll be fine. I Look, I ain't scared. I ain't worried. Everything's going to be okay. Kiffin so. does not appear to be worried at, at, no, at all. <laughs> man, that, that man I can tell you who's happier today, he, as weird as this sounds. Yeah. The offensive line is happier today. Yeah. that They, they are. Hey, you, well, you nailed it. So, um, anyway, this kind of next question or topic I want to talk about is um, really just kind of who's your thoughts, maybe who's your opinion on maybe some running backs that maybe come to Ole Miss, maybe some guys interested, maybe kind of like the best fit for Ole Miss. Just kind of what's your thoughts on that? So, I mean, he, these some of these guys have to hit the portal uh, before we start talking about them. Yeah, well, you, know you know how college football works, man, and, and it, yeah. it, it happens. I mean, Judkins was tampered with, and Ole Miss is tampered with other running backs. It's yeah. just that's life. I mean, it's college oh, it's, football today. Um, I think that the, the best poll uh, would be – the best realistic poll would be Jace McClellan. If he hits the portal from Alabama, and people that cover Alabama think that's happening – I mean, yeah. it's it's two o'clock on a Friday. I think he's got until midnight tonight to do it. I could be wrong, but I mean, we're we're getting down to the wire for sure. I think that would be the best, the 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 best possible guy that they could get because it, he's he's not the same as Bentley. Bentley, it would be a night nice, he they would be a nice one two punch in the backfield. Um, I think he's really got high level ability on top of it all. Um, you know what he can do uh, in the SEC. And he was exceptional. And the last time you got to see him play, and he's been, you know, banged up at times this year. But that Michigan defense is legit. Yeah. I mean, they are, they are legit. There's NFL guys all over the field, and they were not afraid of passing game at all. And he still ran well and looked good against the best team in college football. So that, to me, if he hits the portal and he's looking to move on, and Ole Miss is able to get him, that I think would be. You know, I don't think he's Judkins, but that would be a, oh, they're fine. Like, they're, they're, yeah. I, I wouldn't worry about that offense missing a beat at all if it's Bentley, him, and then I know people really believe in Riscano. I would like to see it first before I tell you he's going to be great, but they believe in him. So that three-headed monster uh, in the backfield would be – that would be just fine. Yeah. Have you heard any rumors on how much uh, McClellan's wanting? I'm just just kind of curious. Uh, I have not. Uh, I I, you know, there's no guarantees in this. Yeah. Uh, I would I would bet the car that I'm sitting in right now that it's not all no, uh, more no than more NFL league tokens. minimum. Yeah, I, I I'm willing to bet that it's not that. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I would literally bet this car right now that it's not what Judkins was going to make this year. Yes, so. I don't think it's gonna be nowhere close. Not anywhere that's close. Just, that's just my take on it. Uh, I do want to ask you about some other guys as well, too. Uh, just kind of get your thoughts and opinions. Of course, we just talked about McQuellen. Uh, some more guys I do want to mention. Uh, of course, Jarquez Hunter from Auburn's been kind of mentioned. Uh, even you know, I Logan guess that's did. done though, right? The uh, I mean, the the deadline for him because he played before McClellan has passed, and he as as far as we understand well, that's, it, that's what I thought too. But you weren't too sure. Um, you also mentioned, yeah, Logan, you know, Logan did from LSU announced today. That would also be a good pickup. Um, yeah. kind of the I overrated mean, guy, not many people know about him, maybe, but yeah, uh, that, that would be a good pickup, really solid. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, got hurt, his carries kind of fell off a cliff there at the end of the season, but uh, put yeah. really good uh reps on tape against really good teams this season, uh, and and you know, he can produce in this league, so yeah, that's true. Yeah, I do want to mention right quick as well too. Um, just kind of, just kind of a couple other guys as well too. You could, you know, you kind of throw out there, kind of mention there for a minute. I um, mean, you could mention, you know, uh, Etwine. You know, he announced going to Georgia, but supposedly it's still like he hasn't officially signed yet. It's just what I'm kind of told and kind hmm. of see. I mean, there's rumors that he reached out to Ole Miss. Have you heard anything about that as well too? I have not. Uh, I have not independently heard that myself. I saw that out there though. Um, 
you know, yeah. we'll see. Uh, that That's an attractive offense to run in. Uh, I mean, that you know, people call it spin or, or whatever, but if you think that that offense – uh, will not make running backs look good, then then you're insane. And so uh, the the idea that th- they were surprised by people who have reached out to them, I don't think that's really far fetched when you consider what that offense puts on the field. And, and they and they spread carries around uh, as well. I mean, they don't yeah. play a whole lot of wide receivers, but uh, I mean the the running backs get theirs. It, it 2021 four players on Ole Miss's team, ran for over 500 yards. So if, if you're yeah. capable, th- you're going to get yours in that offense. So I, I haven't independently heard that myself, but, um, it, I mean, one plus one equals two. That makes sense because if you're a running back and you look at what they do, y- you wouldn't want to play there? Man, you, you nailed it. I don't know what to say. Um, hey, I was going to kind of mention a couple more guys as well, too. Um this is kind of an interesting guy. I know he's been kind of brought up some by Ole Miss fans. Don't even know if he's even interested in coming to Ole Miss, but kind of a under the radar type of guy is uh, Kenny Boone uh, from Toledo. Uh, so I'm kind of get your thoughts on him as well, too. Yeah, obviously making the jump from uh, G5 to Power Five. Yeah, um, I, I would. I would be. Ugh, excuse me. I would be curious to know where, like, on Ole Miss's board, he would fit. If yeah, they value the SEC experience Wilson. over, I mean, he would be the most productive guy in terms of just raw numbers that that they could get. But I would love to know where they would evaluate him in terms of production for a team that is trying to go win a championship. Like, do they think that that would be more of a gamble where they know, for example, what McClellan can do against the best teams in college football? You have no idea yeah. what this guy can do against the best teams in college football. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Boone was a guy, he had, he, he may know more than I do, but I think he had like 180 something carries this year, had like 1,400, 1,500 yards. He looked pretty good. But yeah, that's kind of the question is how would he do in the SEC? Yeah. And I mean, look at Bentley. Bentley's game translated. Uh, he, yeah, he clearly is effective and exactly. he came from the group of five level. So, I mean, it has happened. And there's a lot of G5 guys and, and lower than that, that that move on to the NFL. So he, he certainly yeah. won. But I, I do wonder if they, they look at it like a, a possible risk when all they really need is solid. You know, they don't need elite. They just need good. And and there's a chance that that doesn't work out. I'm, I would love to know. I'd love to be in the room to find out what uh, what Kevin Smith is thinking as he uh, as he tries to fill the spot. Yeah, hey, I'm yeah, I'm same way too. Um, yeah, just kind of just one more question. I'll have to say that pretty soon. So, well, I'm gonna kind of put you in Coach Kiffin's shoes. I'm gonna say that you're Coach Kiffin or either Coach Smith. I mean, you're the one making the decision. If it was you making the choice, making the decision, I mean, who's gonna be your first choice of some of these running backs we mentioned? It would be McClellan. That that yeah. would be the guy that I would go after the hardest for sure. I mean, I I think what he's put on tape and and you know you know not only uh, what he can do in the SEC, but I mean Lane Kiffin and Pete Golding for what it's worth. I know he's a defensive guy, but still they know what it's like uh, as a player yeah. uh, to play for Nick Saban and what is required of you uh, to play for Nick Saban and, and they're. I mean, they, they're able to verify character. They're they're able to verify all those things with their connections on the staff. But if you're going to play running back for Nick Saban, it's more than just can you run the football good. You know, it, it's it, there's more to yeah. it than that. You got to so do it all. It it would make that would be the safest pick, but also a guy that can run like hell against the best teams in college football. Yeah, that's true. Now, uh, you just well, just in case, we're just going to kind of throw this example out there. Maybe he's a guy asking for, mo- you know, asking for more money. What we may be kind of thinking, maybe he's kind of your second or third choice if McQuillan doesn't come here. Ooh, um, well, I guess Hunter's out, right? Then the LSU transfer I, I think would, so, would be, but would be no, number two. Sure. Okay. I think that's pretty much all the questions I have for you. I don't want to keep this video too long. No, you're busy. That's, that's fine, man. I appreciate it. I've uh, I've got to go talk about this some more. So, 
So, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, appreciate you doing the Sparky. It means a lot. So, yeah, that's all I have for the video. Uh, Anytime, hope guys, man. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you could, please go like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Would be appreciated. See y'all next one. And hotty tiny.